So what am I reporting on today? Dreamworld Australia have announced the closure of Tower of Terror 2 at the end of the 2019 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chayu Chicha, Don Costa Bob Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Dreamworld Australia. Now before we get started, we have two shout outs, Brian Galeas and Plops are Updates. Big shout out to you, make sure you go and follow uh, Plops are Updates Instagram account as well. If you want a shout out in our next video, there are two ways to do it now. All you have to do is either comment your shout out below if you want a shout out, or just ask for a shout out and I'll give you one. Or uh, you can comment your thoughts down below and I will give you a shout out in the next video. So any comments, if you want, you, basically you don't get your comments shouted out, but if you want to be shouted out for commenting your thoughts on the news down below, then I'll collect all the shout outs over the last couple of days and I'll bring them to you on the next episode of Newsroom. Before we get started as well, make sure you go and check out our videos over the last few days. We uploaded a lot of videos yesterday. Uh, we had individual walkthroughs of the scare mazes at uh, York Maze Hollow Tween 2019, uh, The Singularity, Coins Corn Evil, and Barnegadon 3D. Also, we've had other updates uh, that's been uploaded over the last couple of weeks uh, from the likes of Europa Park, Alton Towers. We've had a construction update from Flamingoland's new coaster, Bush Gardens Williamsburg's new coaster, Pantheon. We've had loads of updates. We've got plenty more updates to come uh, over the next couple of days. We've got news updates that's been recorded from Furevik in Sweden, Universal's Epic Universe. We also have updates uh, from Ravens Ra Ravensburger Spielland, which is a small park in Germany on their new investment for next year. So plenty of interesting news updates to go around over the next couple of days, including today. So this update is from Dreamworld Australia. Now we've reported on this part before. Uh, and if you want to check out an earlier update we did on this park, make sure you go and check out the Australia Parks and Attractions playlist. And um, we had a video on their new clone of Blue Fire with a, a Star Trek Operation Enterprise uh, half spike at the back, uh, as well as the last train being a spinning coaster. Uh, with, a, with that spinning train as well as the main blue fire kind of trains uh, So make sure you go check out that video on that coaster that we did We also did another update in an Australian park called SeaWorld on their new coaster Leviathan uh, Which is their new um, wooden coaster. We did an update on that park as well So make sure you go check out those two videos in the Australia Parks playlist This is the third news update on the Australia Parks and Attractions playlist Again from Dreamworld Australia, and it's the closure of one of their most iconic coasters that opened at the park in 1997. Mark the date on your calendars, 3rd of November 2019. That's going to be the last day you'll ever get to ride Tower of Terror 2. So basically, if you don't know what this coaster is, it's an Intamin Reverse Freefall launch coaster. In 2010, they flipped the car so it faced backwards, and you got launched backwards uh, up the big... Uh, tower and then back down again so they did that the year in the 2010 season and then of course the year after in 2011 they did it they did it to its clone sister ride superman escape from krypton over at six flags magic mountain as part of their three coaster year to celebrate the 40th anniversary in 2021 uh, 2011 sorry 50th anniversary in 2021 so fingers crossed we see a coaster at magic mountain ne in that year so if you want to know some stats on the tower of terror 2 roller coaster then here is some stats. So in terms of the height of this Intamin roller coaster, the height is 377.3 feet, with a drop of 328.1 feet, a max speed of 100 miles per hour, a g-force of 4.5, a length of 1,235 feet, a 28 second duration ride, and the launch is from zero to 100 in seven seconds with that 6.5 seconds of weightlessness originally called tower of terror and then when they switched it to being a backwards ride it became known as tower of terror 2 in 2010 now like i said 3rd november 2019 is the closing date and if you want to know what's happening with this basically uh they're closing the ride uh due to the future investments for the park so I'm guessing with all these new investments that's going to be coming in the next couple of years uh, with the new slide complexes, this blue fire type mat launch coaster uh, with the half pipe at the back, uh, all these big investments that's, 
be, be, being planned for this park. I'm guessing they're going to cut the loss on the bill here by closing Tower of Terror 2. Now, some of you will be thinking or commenting down below, what's happening with Giant Drop? Now, Giant Drop is a drop tower that's actually situated on the other side of the tower to where the upward climb of Tower of Terror 2 is. So you've got the tower structure here, and you've got uh, basically the Giant Drop Tower on one side, and you've got the rail for Tower of Terror 2 coming up that way. Uh, basically, all that's happening is the rails for Tower of Terror 2 are going to be demolished and removed from the tower, and it'll just operate as Giant Drop. Now, what's going to happen with the site of the station for Tower of Terror 2 is currently unknown. I would personally like to see a new flat ride or maybe a compact coaster just in that station area uh, so it doesn't go as far. Uh, maybe they're going to fill uh, parts of where the incline is up to the tower structure with some trees, maybe get some new tree line stuff, um, plant some more trees etc. But I think where the station for Tower of Terror 2 is, I'd like to see maybe like a Premier Skyrocket 2, that would be a pretty cool investment of the park. Um, and, and again, it will be a really, really cool coaster. Um, and Pre Premier Skyrocket 2 seems to be all over the place over the last few years. You've had the most recent ones like Sky Scream, a holiday park in Germany. Um, you had the Zombie Ride in Mexico. Uh, you had Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. You had Tigris this year uh, at Busch Gardens Tampa in Florida. So you've had these Premier Skyrocket 2s popping up all over the world, not just America, not just Europe. None in the UK yet, but I'd like to see one. Hashtag saw a live site, thought park. <laughs> but they have been popping up all over the place over the last few years, with the most recent one being Tigris at Busch Gardens Tampa. So I think that kind of ride is a perfect investment for Dreamworld Australia on that station site. Like I said, the rest of it, where the incline is, you can just plant that whole area with like trees and stuff like that and just loads of stuff to do in nature uh, once the rails have been demolished for it. Uh, so that's just sort of all we know. And uh, now some of them, some of the fans of this coaster actually found this announcement very surprising because a couple of people have said in the past, over the last week or so, that the ride has actually been operating very well. Now that could just be people's opinion. Other people have said that the ride has maybe uh, deteriorated over the last few years. Uh, maybe it's become difficult to operate. Uh, we're not sure on the actual focusing primary exact reason why it's closing but there's just a few examples that are popping up here and there. Uh, the main thing is it's to do with future investments however a lot of people have said that the ride may have deteriorated over the last few years may not have operated as best as it could. Um, now of course with the closure of Tower of Terror 2 that puts into focus what the hell is going to happen with Magic Mountain's Superman Escape from Krypton. Now many people still love that coaster but how much longer is it going to be before that coaster bites the dust and the reverse free fall shuttle coasters of that model maybe become not really extinct but very very rare. Uh, so it should be interesting to follow what could happen with Superman Escape from Krypton at Magic Mountain. But in this case, rest in peace Tower of Terror 2. You will be sorely missed by the fans of the park and the fans around the world that travelled to this park to ride you since 1997. The year before Oblivion opened, this ride opened. So. You know, it's, it's a very old ride uh, compared to what we're used to nowadays, but, uh, you know, ha things have its time, things come and go, parks have to develop, parks have to move forward, and I'm sure the park's going to move forward in a big, big way uh, with its future investments, but unfortunately, this ride will not live to see those future investments. So, please share your thoughts and share your memories of Tower of Terror 2 in the comments down below. Of course, I'll give you a shout out in t one of tomorrow's videos. Um, uh, with your comment as well. So if you comment down below, I'll give you a shout out in one of tomorrow's videos. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update from Dreamworld Australia. There's plenty more news updates to come uh, from Ravens, Burger Spielland, um, Furevik, uh, Knott's Berry Farm. We had a comment from someone called Ryan who said, please keep doing an update on this. That will be coming today. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your memories. Rest in peace, Tower of Terror 2. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts on this coaster. What could replace the station area? Uh, and again, what are your memories of this ride? What was? You know, please share your memories down below. What was your first ride on this coaster? Um, you know, when did you first ride this coaster? What's your best memory of this coaster? Share all of it down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you've loved this. If you've loved all the theme park news updates we've covered in 2019 so far. And also make sure you click notification bell as well so you never miss any more thrilling content. 
And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chai YouTube channel. Keep living the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next update from Knott's Berry Farm and more news updates over the weekend very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.